I really miss handheld Ace Combat games. It's been a good three years since a handheld has gotten an Ace Combat game, and a good eight years since handhelds have gotten a new and original Ace Combat game. So when browsing the eShop, I look for air combat games. That's when I came upon this game called Vertical Strike. The screenshots looked like they were taken straight out of the Ace Combat series. It was $5, so I thought, you know what? Let's give it a try, see how it is. I'm really itching for some Ace Combat. Now that I've played it, here is my review of Vertical Strike Endless Challenge for the Nintendo Switch. Vertical Strike is basically an air combat game, just like the Ace Combat series. When you're going through gameplay, you're going to be flying fighter planes through the air and shooting down enemies with machine guns, missiles, and bombs. The thing about this game, however, is there's no campaign. There's no story mode, there's no real big campaign for you to go through. The game modes you've got are arcade mode and arcade mode. One version is for anti-air, which is just which is just fighting off other planes in the air, and the other is anti-ship, where you're fighting both airplanes and ships on the water. Going through arcade mode is pretty simple. You start in your hangar, pick your plane, pick your weapons and sub-weapons, and go right into the mission. The customization options in this game are somewhat lacking, though. You only have two planes to choose from. Granted, one of them is modeled after the F-22 Raptor, which is basically the poster child of the Ace Combat series, but really, only having two planes is pretty restrictive. Thankfully, the weapons are a little more in-depth. There's probably about a dozen or so weapons across the different types of weapons, from machine guns, air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-land missiles, and bombs. So you've definitely got a few things to work with to make each run through the game a little more versatile. Now when you actually get in the air, you really start getting that ace combat feel. The way the HUD looks, the way the camera positions look, the way you fly, the way you shoot down enemies, it feels like ace combat. And there's nice things about this and there's stuff that's not so nice. Vertical Strike does have some really interesting extra features built in, like the ability to automatically fire off flares when a missile's behind you. But the locking and aiming seems really unbalanced. The missiles in this game have seemingly absurd accuracy, to the point where it took me a long time before I could launch missiles from pretty far away and not instantly kill anything in front of me. And on the other hand, the machine gun weapons seem really inaccurate, taking a lot more time to close in on an enemy in front of me than in any of the Ace Combat games I've played. Of course, this makes the game very easy to play. When you've got missiles that almost never miss their targets, you're basically just massacring everything that comes at you. Now, flying through like this is a lot of fun, but it doesn't really take you very long to find how repetitive this game is. The planes in Wave 1 and the planes in Wave 10 don't really differ from one another. You have more of them, but there is very little enemy variety in what you're gunning down. The game does try to put some boss level enemies in later on, but really the bosses are just the same planes but with more health. There aren't any big fortress ships or anything like you'd fight in Ace Combat here, they're just plane A and stronger plane A. Adding in the fact that there is no multiplayer you, and you don't get rewards for arcade mode, the game quickly starts to feel like it's more of a tech demo of something that should come later than its own complete thing. Now let's get in controls. I won't say the controls are bad, most of them are laid out pretty well. The problem is the default control scheme doesn't have every option mapped to a button. Since there's no tutorial for the controls, you won't even know you're able to switch camera angles until you actually go into the settings and see that it's there, but it's just not assigned to anything. Now let's get into presentation. Graphically, the game doesn't look bad. The environments definitely have a lack of detail, but the planes do look nice. I wouldn't say it's miles above the handheld Ace Combat games, but it's definitely a lot smoother than Joint Assault or Assault Legacy Horizon. Now let's get into battery life. Being such a simplistic arcade mode based game, I expected a fair amount of battery life and that's what we got. Here are my times from 100% to 0%. Maximum brightness with the Wi-Fi on, 3 hours and 33 minutes. Maximum brightness with the Wi-Fi off, 3 hours and 36 minutes. Lower brightness with the Wi-Fi on, 4 hours and 11 minutes. Lower brightness with the Wi-Fi off, 4 hours and 15 minutes. Now, in conclusion, 
Vertical Strike Endless Challenge is an interesting pocket-sized aerial game that looks and feels like Ace Combat. However, the lack of plane selection, the unbalanced combat mechanics and difficulty, and some other factors I mentioned make this feel like a stepping stone towards something cool but little more than a tech demo in its present state. Reviews to Go rates Vertical Strike Endless Challenge for the Nintendo Switch a 5 out of 10. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below or head to the website at www.reviewstogo.com.